840 on your hometown station, KHDS, the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. This is going to help me Okay. when I go to Walmart. I go to Walmart a lot. Hmm. And I go, and not a specific one. <laughs> you just say, well, <laughs> however you're feeling that day. I love them all. Okay. <laughs> the way to spend less while you're shopping. You want to spend less? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Researchers say, keep your hands in your pockets while you're shopping. <laughs> Seriously, that's what it says? Yes. That's the advice. That's the advice. It says keep your hands in your pockets when you're shopping. If you yeah. hold if you hold something, if you hold something in your hands for as little as 30 seconds, it increases your chances of buying it. This is impossible. Why? I have five kids, so that, and I'm going grocery shopping. It's impossible to keep my hands in my pockets because I'm constantly hitting hands and, <laughs> and pushing kids away from the glass <laughs> jars. So... I, well, I guess that's keeping my hands occupied, right? I guess is that the I, same I, thing? I guess so, but you know, so don't hold anything for more than thirty seconds. What about my kids? I kind of have to hold them down sometimes. <laughs> Cereal aisle, forget it. Yeah. The hometown morning show with Tori and Kyle, your hometown station, ninety-eight point one FM and AM twelve twenty. Eight forty-one on this Tuesday, April sixth. Good morning. Hey, welcome to the hometown morning show with Tori and Kyle, and welcome, welcome, welcome. To Wayne Marks, who is from Vanguard Protection, and you are all dolled up today. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Tori. Thank you for having me here today. Absolutely. I need to uh, let, let's let's start from the beginning. Let's explain what Vanguard Protection is. Uh, Vanguard Protection is a new private security company founded in 2019. Um, my business partner and I had been in the private industry for some time. And just seeing how lackluster the private security industry really is. So we set out to really change things and, and make a vast improvement. When you say lackluster, what, what were we missing? Well, you're missing quality officers who are trained and know how to do their job and are willing to do so. That are fully equipped and um, really able to actually provide the services that they contract for. And what are those services? Well, we do um, everything. Our, our bread and butter is mainly patrol services, alarm response. We do some sentry services as well. What's a sentry service? Uh, someone who's on site who stays at your property and doesn't leave. Okay. Uh, the patrol service is, like I said, our, our main thing that we uh, offer. And it, it really satisfies most of the problems that are on the on the um, the client's property. So we'll, we'll drive out there. We'll conduct a certain number of patrols at day at random. Mm -hmm. And then um, the response service is something else we offer that's included. So if you have any issues throughout the day, 24-7, we can zip right over and take care of whatever you might be issuing. What are some of the biggest problems we have here in the uh, Santa Clarita Valley that you as Vanguard feel you can handle better than some of what you call the lackluster companies? Uh, unfortunately, it's really become the transient issue. There's so much homelessness now that um, because, you know, all the things changing in our state and people being released and what have you, that unfortunately that's kind of per per proliferated all of the properties up here and um, we really have, have dealt with that a lot um, it's, it's kind of the main thing that we, we encounter on patrol mm -hmm. and a lot of the other companies I've seen them when they're on patrol that they uh, just don't want to deal with these people uh, they may have a mental illness or a substance abuse problem and they just tend to shy away from making contact with that person but um, you know we're able to fully engage the person and, and get them off of that property make an arrest if needed that sort of thing what if you come in contact with uh, any kind of violence or, you know, somebody not necessarily transient, but, um, you know, anyone who shouldn't be, you know, is somewhere where they shouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> and it gets a little bit out of hand. What ha what happens? Uh, we, we try to only make an arrest if it's the last course of action. So if the person is insistent on causing a problem or refusing to leave, I've had people swing skateboards at my head. Uh, my business partner, Sean, he's had someone try and get into a fight with him. And in both cases, we make an arrest because that person clearly is deciding to be a problem. And, you know, we ask people very politely and professionally, you know, if they could please leave and go somewhere else. And only when they're insistent to, to do so, that's when we have to actually step in and make an arrest. The person with the skateboard, are yep. you a good ducker? You know what? Uh, Did you were you able to duck? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get hit with the skateboard, but it was it came really close. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, silly question, but do you guys ever the, the adrenaline? The adrenaline sometimes must. What what's that like? You know, um, it it is pretty um, scary in the moment. Mm -hmm. You've got someone who is intent on hurting you, and you have to do your best to stay calm and um, just take care of the situation. So it can be a little frightening at times, but it does kick in the adrenaline for sure. And it, it helps. It obviously helps. Yes, helps you duck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> D duck the skateboards. Yep. The biggest problem in the SCV you're you're saying is probably the transient. What what would come next? What do you think is next? Unfortunately, due to COVID, um, 
<coughs> pardon me, the, um, the burglaries are on the increase. We've had some people breaking into vacant uh, storefronts to gain access to the one that's not vacant next door. Um, cutting lots of locks and uh, entering facilities that they're just trying to gain a crime of opportunity if a door is unlocked or a window can easily be popped out anything they can get in and grab uh, that they can use to sell and, and get some money um, those have been on the, the rise as well and you think it's because of covid or yeah i, I do um, we live in a very terrific safe area up here mm -hmm. and unfortunately because of the pandemic that we've seen that go up quite a bit and and just how about your just your basic robbery just your you know, what about home robberies uh, or home invasions or yeah. any type of uh, residential? Yeah, we don't really get that so much. Uh, for the residential, seeing a lot of package thefts because we're all living off Amazon these days. Uh, lots of people driving around neighborhoods stealing mail and packages are the number one. As far as home invasions, I haven't heard of that, you know, sharply increasing, thank mm -hmm. goodness. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it's more of the, like the, the more minor crimes happening in residential neighborhoods along with the transient issue kind of coming in there as well. What was the biggest call that you've been on most recently? Goodness. Um, it's probably somebody who was, uh, again, violent. Mm -hmm. You know, one of our officers was asking them to leave. You know, we tried numerous times, uh, I think three or four requests to, to move along. We got their information as much as they would let us, um, you know, took their photographs. So we, we issued an advisement for them not to return. And the person just was, uh, you know, bent on just remaining on the property. And that person got violent and wanted to assault one of our officers. So that's probably one of the, the most recent things that kind of sticks in my mind. Do you use a taser or do you use, I see you put your baton on the desk there Yep. Uh, in order to sit down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you use a taser um, Tasers. All? Yeah, tasers are something we're going with this year. Um, mm -hmm. We were talking about it last year, but it's, it's, it can be a wonderful tool. The only mm -hmm. thing you have to be kind of aware of is that they don't always work. So the prongs have to go through the, the clo clothing and sometimes they don't make good contact. And I think today a lot of officers are very, um, I guess, reliant on it, the ones that carry it. And so you just have to be aware that they don't always work or have the intended effect you want. Had no idea because, you know, on TV. Yeah, of course. <laughs> on all of my favorite TV shows, they always work. Sure. <laughs> uh, what would you say is the main reason we need to call Vanguard? Well, I would say the number one reason is um, we, we truly offer the – the superior service up here for the private industry. Um, we have um, been blessed to have a, a fantastic sheriff's department up here. They do a phenomenal job. But um, as we all know in the world we live in, you know, their their funding is always in danger. Uh, they're being ever more burdened with um, things that they didn't have to do before because other departments are cut. And the response times are just uh, for, you know, your, your lower level kind of calls. Um, they're just... Um, they're just overburdened for those kind of things. They still, you know, can very quickly and depthly respond to the most critical major incidents that we might experience up here. But if you've got something like um, a person trespassing on a property, um, somebody, you know, going through your stuff, um, whether it's, you know, your trash on your property or whatnot, somebody that doesn't want to leave, somebody that wants to cause a problem doing drugs on your property, any of those kind of things, we can be there in a minute and take care of that for you. Fantastic. You and know? how do we get in touch with you? Well, you can always call us. Um, our number is 661 753 Three six one one, and you can also go to our website, which is vanguardprotectiongroup.com. Vanguardprotectiongroup.com. Wayne Marks, thank you so much for coming thank you, Tori. in, explaining the whole process to us. And if we need a little extra help, you are our guys. Appreciate that, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.